What if your first $10 million term sheet came from a game world your family built at home? Meet The Veil, a new novel for kids that's actually a founder story. Prototype, pitch, failure loops, and one ridiculous shot at changing your family's future. The Veil is a novel coming out on September 16th from Third State Books. It follows the journey of 13-year-old Bran Lee, who is a hacker and coder living in Silicon Valley. His inventor family has fallen on hard times at the start of the story, and what they have left is this AI-generated virtual fantasy world. It's a system that they've created. They've been building it for the past 10 years together, and our boy enters it in a high-stakes competition to win an investment of $10 million and free his family from financial ruin. Computers were always an escape for me growing up. I had a pretty rough childhood with my dad being an alcoholic and an immigrant who sometimes struggled in a new country. But growing up in the San Francisco Bay Area meant computers were sort of the one thing that made me feel connected and normal. And this story Abigail tells feels a lot like mine. This isn't just a kid's book. It's how builders are made. The main character in this story grew up in a family with eight failed startup launches. The eight too late greats. So the eight too late greats was the Lee family's way of laughing in the dark about their many failures. And I think this is something every entrepreneur in Silicon Valley knows, like the road to success is a series of failures from which you learn from. But for the Lee family, eight is just, is eight too many. And what happened in their case is that every invention they sent out into the world came back with a message that it's already been done and it's then they were too late. So um, the nickname actually was a way for me to help cement some of the ties between the veil world and the real world, which I won't spoil for you here, but eventually come to be important. In our family, my father always wanted to start a startup, but it could never quite come together. And when startups fail, there were real consequences for your family. One crazy story from my own childhood is that actually my dad in the 80s worked for a startup that IPO'd, a satellite startup called California Amplifier, but he never bought his stock so we never got to participate in the windfall of it. A simple decision, buying the equity for a startup that he worked at, could have bought us a house, and it could have housed me and my brother, instead of us growing up mainly in one and two bedroom apartments, and that would have changed our lives. A simple mistake about startup equity turned into one of the eight too late greats for my family. I think it's a common story for people who grow up in tech, so to see it in fiction itself is to be seen. The Veil covers topics that we in Silicon Valley are all too familiar with, both positive and negative. While sometimes you have the best idea in the room, not being able to represent it properly can shadow your greatness and even let other people steal your due credit. There is a, an experience in Silicon Valley that I think is very relatable where um, I, I, as I came up through the corporate world, I saw people with great ideas who were not necessarily politically savvy, people with great ideas having their ideas taken by others who then went on to, to run with those. Um, so that's actually a wound, I think, that's at the core of the veil, um, seeing that happen, seeing that happen to, to me as well, um, and not realizing that that was something that was a dynamic at play. I remember being not recognized, being passed over for promotions, and getting mad about it, rage quitting. In retrospect, I could have easily done a better job of fighting for myself, and that's definitely what I do today. But it was something that I had to get over and learn to fight for. Don't let people take credit for your work, ever. Amazingly, Abigail wrote this 10 years before the AI boom. What changed is large language models. The insight is all the same. So I wrote The Veil over 10 years ago. It was my creative thesis in my MFA program, but because it was a story about AI generation, it was just too early to publish. So my agent at the time had me shelve it. Um, but now, 10 years later, I'm able to bring it out to the world. And interestingly enough, I um, haven't had to do much with the technology um, other than I now have terms of art that are more familiar, they're more household words. So 
the concept of chatbots was a word that I wasn't using 10 years ago, but now I can throw that in as something my readers would understand and use as a crutch. So for example, there's a conversation, is Nomely a chatbot? And my boy Bran is like very clear, no, Nomely is not a chatbot. Nomely is so much more than a chatbot. But that right away kind of gives readers a framework and a context for understanding some of the complex technologies that I was doing my best to explain 10 years ago. Today, over a quarter of students aged 13 to 17 have used ChatGPT for schoolwork, and even more so out of school. 10 years ago, we were in a different place, but today is the time to make sure all our young people embrace the benefits of AI, arming them with a powerful tool for their future and their family. The real question is, why are there schools today that refuse to use the technology? It's like banning the use of Google at this point. It makes no sense for the future. I really think of the veil itself as the main character, and the way the veil grows through AI generation is very much the way it, it grows in, in our world today. It's you feed, the Lee family feeds the veil stories, great stories, so the magic paintbrush, um, the Brothers Grimm, um, Hans Christian Andersen, and uh, A Thousand One Arabian Nights, and all these stories, it draws and mines from them the way a carnation would drink colored water and itself be infused with color. That's product design 101. Ingest great data, craft a voice, earn attachment. Through crafting creative stories, we can teach the next generation about all the good AI can do. Ethics ship faster. Teams that care make tech people trust. What The Veil does such a good job of showing us is how the product is a reflection of us as coders and creators. AI is a really powerful tool and it's here to stay. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really important for ethical people to be involved in the creation of technology. So I would say if there was a tagline to this book, it would be that ethical people make ethical technology. And at the end of the day, the veil is a very powerful creation of the Lee family, but it's good because the creators, the Lee family, they are good and they have built it in a way that's loving and kind and inclusive. For founders, that's real hiring criteria, not just a slogan. Hiring people with solid, consistent moral compass and values gives you the ability to go fast without second guessing yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Click the link in the description to buy The Veil, available everywhere now. I'll see you next time.